What do you do when you run out of room to put a propane heater and you really don't want to use a propane heater anyway because your one year old wanders all over the place, touches everything and would get burned very quickly. Not only that, burning the propane puts out lots of gases you just really don't want inside the house. And when you're expecting a winter that's colder than normal and your air conditioner, which is also a heater, just won't cut it, you buy one of these. Today we bought ourselves a new heater. I've shown you a kerosene heater before when I changed the wick. Probably not using that at all this year. It's just too dangerous with Nina. Ugh, this thing doesn't want to open. Oh, come on. Holy crap. Will they seal this with cement? Ah, there we go. It's called an oil heater, but it doesn't burn heating oil. It's filled with oil. And I'm not sure how easy it's going to come out. Oh, come on. This will be the first oil heater I have had and used since I lived in Tanishimaru. This one has a guard on it so that the kids won't be able to reach in and touch the fins, the heating fins, and burn themselves, but a lot of them don't. We bought a slightly more expensive one because we want to keep our fingers and our children's fingers untoasted. If this guard wasn't on here, you'd see fins that look a lot like and function exactly the same as old steam radiators you find in old houses. Except this heater isn't heated by steam being pumped through pipes from a boiler in the basement. It's heated electrically and it's filled with oil instead of steam. These have advanced since I used one in Tanishimata over 10 years ago. That that was a simple on off switch. This one comes with digital controls, temperature settings, timer settings, you can control the whole thing, set out how warm you want it, when you want it to be warm, the whole kit and caboodle went all out on this, partially because that air conditioner won't do quite good enough a job in the coldest days of winter, which are still not as cold as Canada but also because our children's room has no heating at all right now. The only air conditioners in the house are here and in our bedroom, even though we don't tend to use it in our bedroom. We don't tend to have the heater on at night, but for the kids, we will have something to keep them a little toastier. As unboxings go, that was pretty anticlimactic because I just pulled it out and yeah, it's done. There's nothing for me to assemble. There's nothing for me to do. A little disappointed in that actually. Oh, I do have to fold the feet out. Woo hoo. Now there is a challenge to my assembly skills. Yeah, done. So now I've got videos of two different kinds of heaters used to heat your house in Japan. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this will be the last. Yeah, I don't think I'll point the camera at the air conditioner and say, hey, there's the other thing we use. I don't know why. I decided to unbox this thing and thought, eh, pull out the camera. What the hell? This has not been the most gripping of videos, so let me grip you. Sorry if that got a little weird.